a viewer asked if I could make a video where I discuss if you can still use Mac OS X Snow Leopard in 2019. And I found it interesting and thought, why not? So um, I thought, why not do this video? Now, first of all, to begin here, why would you even use this old OS in 2019? This was released in 2009, so, you know, literally 10 years ago, a decade ago. And, you know, why would you use that? Well, a reason could be that you're maybe stuck on an old Macintosh that can't go any higher, or more likely you like the OS, you're happy with it, and um, you don't want to upgrade because you don't need any new features, you maybe prefer the older look or whatever, even though I think personally Mac OS hasn't really changed all that much in terms of how to use it. It's just looking different and, you know, has more features, but the whole, like, basic user interface hasn't really changed. Um, but, you know, could be that maybe some of you like it because it's fast on your machine. I know that it's fast. I started off on 10.6 on this very Mac I'm recording here, and I loved it. I, I ran it for very long. I... I I upgraded to Lion and it had some problems. I wasn't really happy with Lion and I downgraded to Snow Leopard and I I used it like until I think Mavericks. When 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 ten point nine came around, I upgraded to ten point nine and was very happy with it. Um and I even used ten point eight at some point, but I I kinda went back to Snow Leopard. I I remember actually why, because I had only my recovery C D for this iMac in, in on Snow Leopard. So Snow Leopard was on the C D. And I thought, man, I don't want to go through the hassle of, you know, because it crashed or something and I, and I had to reinstall or, or I wanted to clean install. That's what it was. And I thought, man, now I have Snow Leopard running and now I would need to download another Mac OS. And that took very long because back then I had amazing 200 kilobytes of internet speed. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Let, let's just stick with Snow Leopard. And I was very happy. But unfortunately, that was a long time ago. And nowadays, Snow Leopard is... Well, it's still a great operating system. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't think it's obsolete at all. Um, if you, for example, compare it to the life cycle of Windows XP, you know, Windows XP lived on for so long, and I thought, you know, when it finally got retired, while I liked XP, I think it was it was obsolete in terms of how it, how it looked and how it feel and how it feels, you know, how how you how to use it. But but Snow Leopard, no, I think it's it's still very it's still up there. It, it might look a little retro um if you now compare it to like mojave but as i said like the whole user experience hasn't really changed nevertheless i think you still you, you shouldn't use it anymore i still think you should go higher than 10.6 10 um and i will give you the reasons reason number one and that's probably the the most important reason is security this is an unsupported OS by Apple, and that means no more security patches. You know, they're long gone. I think the, the, the only ones they do are for, for Sierra, so 10.12 or so. I didn't know that my MacBook Pro, which runs El Cap 10.11, doesn't get updates anymore. So, you know, and that's already way newer than 10.6. So you can't expect, like, security updates anymore. They're gone for years. And so are programs, up-to-date programs. And that means you will be running Firefox 45. That's the latest one you can get, which isn't really outdated, but still it's a not up-to-date web browser. And I define an operating system to be obsolete if you cannot get an up-to-date web browser for it. Um, you can argue, yes, maybe the developers are too lazy to do that and blah, blah. Well, I can see why they don't do it because the majority of people they don't use this OS any anymore anyway, and so they don't have to code this this program for this very small user base, and so you know it makes sense actually, and so you know F Firefox 45. Well, it's not horribly out of date. You know we are at version 60 62 or so. So you know when you look at that, I mean it's it's long ago. Same with Opera. Opera 25 is the latest you can get, and, and the official Safari browser, which I really don't like, but I'm going to list it anyway, is the Safari 5.1, which was released in 2013. You know, you're using such an old web browser. Um, you shouldn't do that. that. That's like my opinion. You shouldn't do that. 
Uh, also, Thunderbird th uh, 45 is the, the latest one, so no no newer Thunderbird as well, because it's made by Mozilla, and it's kind of the same. Um, Spotify doesn't run it, run on it, and with the latest version, Skype, while it runs with an older version, it's you need to hack it to, to actually get it to log in, and I did that for, for just for fun on my my white iMac there and it worked but it's 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 not ideal i wouldn't want to use it this way same with LibreOffice. you can only get LibreOffice 4 and photoshop cs4 so as you can see all of these are old pieces of software and um they're not getting any newer and by the way microsoft office you know office 2011 is the latest you can use while it might work for a lot of people you know i would only like the only reason why I see you can still run 10.6 is if you have one of these Core Duo MacBooks uh, or MacBook Pros, or whatever those that, that can't go higher, and you go, you're like an older person who very rarely goes on the internet and only uses it for like wor some word processing and nothing else. Then maybe, then yes, then you can use any operating system, especially if you don't go online. But as soon as you go online and you buy something from Amazon or eBay, or whatever, you should be cautious, because, you know, this is an up, not up-to-date browser, and not up-to-date operating system, and while on the Mac side, that is maybe not such a security issue, like, it's not that dangerous as on the Windows side, when you use, for example, XP nowadays, it's still, you know, it's still vulnerable, vulnerable. I can't just, I can't say that word, you know what I mean, uh, it's you know maybe someone has integrated a, a malware in one of the programs. Who knows? And well, macOS is is a very you know secure operating system. Without the security updates and and up to date software, I, you know I wouldn't use it. And I I was one of these. I I uh, that actually was like one of these last. Power PC guys that just needed to keep it alive, and I was using 10.5, and I used it, and I used it. You know, even though I was using old ass programs. Yes, I, I, I did one of these. I, I, did, I, I come from this camp. I, I used to do this also, but over the years, I kind of learned that it's, it's really not that secure. That's really the only issue. Also, while you can't get like latest, the latest software, well, maybe most people don't need it anyway. It's still good that you could have it, you know, and, and it's it's all about security in my eyes. So should you still use 10.6? No, you shouldn't. But if you have it and you can't, you can't, you know, go any higher or you don't want to, then, well, uh, you know, it's not Windows 98 old. So it, it, it's, it's still a functional modern-ish operating system. But I, I personally wouldn't use it. Um, I... I am stuck, in fact, on 10.13 since, you know, this is uh, unsupported in 10.14. So in a couple of years, when this doesn't have security updates anymore and it doesn't have the latest Firefox or so, I will not use this iMac anymore, unfortunately. At least not on OS X. So, um, yeah, but you have to decide for yourself. Uh, if you're happy with the OS and you, you just want to use it no matter what and no matter... If someone tells you you shouldn't or not, well, then do it, I guess. But it's it's on your own risk, and I wouldn't use it. They are like, and and if it's about the 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 money, um, yes, buying a new machine, you know, for some people is something that they don't want to do. But if you have one of these old Macs that cannot go higher than ten point six, then it's about time that you get a new one. I mean, I like old machines and everything, but they're probably nowadays very slow on the internet and, and just for most basic tasks, they might get it done. But then just, you know, get one of these 200 euro laptops like with a Pentium and you got Windows 10 with all the security updates or you or you put on this old Mac a Linux distro or something just to get it up to date, just to get the security. But uh, if you don't want to go through all of this hassle, just... Get a newer one, really. If you if you buy a newer one, then then at least get one that supports like ten point twelve. Then you're good for another a couple of years. But um, yeah, uh, in my eyes, no, you can't use it anymore. You can, but you you shouldn't. That's that's actually uh, something you you have to you have to uh, um, 
this is not the same thing you know if you can use an operating system or you shouldn't because obviously you're using for example mac os 9 or windows 95 in this day and age it wouldn't be possible you know it's just horribly out of date um with everything you know software support and an interface and everything but but you know snow snow leopard isn't that it's, it's still very usable so i get the argument that maybe some want to stay with it but <sighs> snow leopard was great it was one of my favorite mac os systems it ran very fast it changed my whole computer life because i was so happy with it and you know i came from windows vista and i was pissed and then i had the awesome mac experience i get it it was an awesome operating system but it's time to move on and yeah you should you should move on so that that is my opinion tell me what you think or please write me what computer and what operating system you use i would really be interested in that doesn't matter if it's windows or mac or linux just just everything you know i like operating systems this is what i do so thank you for watching and see you later